Most of these lockers have uh, tools in it. For example, uh, here's a set of screwdrivers and uh, Alice, Allen bits. Phillips head screwdrivers. A set of sockets, torque wrench, ratchet wrench, extensions, universal joint. Number of wrenches of varying sizes. And uh, a few other tools for retrieving things from odd uh, places. We have one tool here which we use uh, during our extra vehicle activity, a 7 16 uh, combination wrench, open end box end. Of course, uh, these wrenches are pretty small to hold in the uh, gloved hand, so we had to put a little bit of uh, insulation around it and wrap it up with tape in order to be able to hold on to it. But we took that out and we were able to remove uh, some of the uh, ramps that were causing our doors to malfunction on our solar telescopes. We have here, I'm in the middle of it now, a uh, shower. We have uh, the opportunity to take a bath about once a week, whether we need it or not. And our shower holds about three quarts of water, and it's about as big as a phone booth. It's tacked down to the floor here, so it won't float around, but uh, when we want to use it, we just raise it in this manner. We attach it to this ring around the top. And then in here we take our shower. Of course, the water floats all over. It doesn't stay in one place. It kind of collects on you in a tour in. And uh, this is a, uh, an ergometer or a bicycle. This is uh, used in combination with one of our medical experiments. And it's also used by us for exercise. We can uh, put any load we want to in our body by cranking up uh, the load device. Now you can mount this bike very easily, much more so than you can your bike on Earth, as you notice. Just uh, clip your foot in the foot pedals here and uh, set the load that you want right on here. Say we'll set it up to about 250 watts. Start pedaling. The more watts you set in there, the harder it is to pedal. The faster you, the harder you have to work. And you can set enough load on this to wear yourself out in short order if you want to. We also have a way to measure our heart rate. And this reads out our heart rate in beats per minute as we're pedaling. Of course, the harder you pedal, why the harder your heart has to work and the better it is for your cardiovascular heart system. While we're pedaling this bicycle during the medical experiment, our breath is analyzed in this metabolic analyzer so that our uh, pulmonary system can be thoroughly evaluated during the period that we're up here. Of course, the purpose of this bike medically is to determine the man's capability to put out a certain amount of work over a long period of time in space. Measure his capability to do work as a result of space flight. We have one other medical experiment here that you might be interested in. Uh, it's called the lower body negative pressure, and it's a big name, but it tells us that we put our lower body in here and subject it to some sort of a vacuum. And uh, its purpose is to measure a man's uh, response over a long period of space flight. It's uh, the response of his heart and cardiovascular system. And it enables the doctors on the ground to see how we're performing cardiovascular-wise over a long time in space. The way this works is that uh, floats in here like so. Draws his boot up around his waist. Then the observer opens the valve vacuum. That doesn't get to be a complete vacuum, but a partial vacuum. And this draws man's blood from his head upper extremity, upper area down into his lower extremities to simulate one gravity. And the blood goes to your uh, legs, and uh, so there's less for your head. And uh, this enables the doctors on the ground to determine how well your heart is functioning, and how well it is able to, to push what blood is in your body around your body. I hope you've enjoyed uh, your tour with us on Skylab, and uh, we hope you'll continue to watch us. We feel that we're making a uh, solid contribution to not only our American way of life, but also a good benefit to people around the world.